Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about today's video because we're finally getting started on this room makeover. So today is phase one, which is going to be wallpaper removal and getting ready to start painting, like picking paint colors, taping this room out. I'll tell you guys kind of the overall plan. But for those of you that have never seen this yellow room before and don't know what I'm talking about, this was actually my first ever bedroom like before the pink room that you guys saw before, this was my baby room. So my first ever bedroom, so many memories in here. I was in here probably up until I was like 10 or 12. I chose the yellow walls, which was now a total mistake, but I was so happy about them at the time. I thought they were so cheery and bright and they were my favorite. And then I have this lovely, wallpaper up on the top of these walls super dated now i would just never do that that was kind of my little design decision way back then and then this room became my mom's office she worked from home she put a big desk in here and she was pretty much working in a kid's room at her desk and she never made it her own never changed it so now that she's retired we got rid of the desk we're here for a room makeover and we're changing this entire space so our new plan is to turn this kind of into like a multi-purpose, I'm calling it ladies lounge, because I think it's gonna be a really nice feminine multi-purpose space. So it's gonna have a work area in here, it's gonna have a reading nook, it's going to have an overnight space so guests can come and sleep here as well. So it's going to be a whole lot of things and I think that's what's gonna make it super interesting and a little difficult to figure out, but it's gonna be so much fun. So I hope you guys are here for it. I hope you're here for the entire makeover so you can see what this space looks like in the end. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. So let's go ahead and start phase one of this wallpaper removal. So this is the floral wallpaper I have all around the top of this space. I'm gonna be using this dynamic wallpaper stripper today to remove it all. And this is a really simple system. You just peel, squirt, scrape, off and clean so I thought this would be the easiest way this is the little scraper I'm gonna be using it's a really old one and I just tested it out for the first time to see how easy it was to take a strip off and this is what you're gonna be left with so this is the adhesive still stuck to the wall so you can actually take the printed part of the wallpaper off by hand it just totally peels off when you get it at the seam and then you just spray your stripper all over top of the adhesive and it will start to bubble and really soak in it's supposed to sit for like a minute to five minutes so the more you put on on, and the longer you sit the better it is to take off so then you just go in with your scraper and start scraping away and it will just fall to the floor so this is showing how easy it is for the top layer to come off you can just rip that off super easily so I like to peel the top layer as I go so that I can just spray more of this stripper on so that it has a longer wait time and it really sinks into that adhesive it just makes the whole process a lot easier so I just decided to take off the entire first layer of this wall so that I could spray the entire thing and I think that made it a lot easier to remove it like see how easily this is coming off that wall went by so quickly quickly. Some areas are a little more stuck on, so yeah, you just kind of find them here and there, but overall this seems like a pretty simple task to do and it didn't take me long at all. I was really overwhelmed before I even started this thinking this is going to be really hard, it's going to take me forever, but it actually went by very quickly and was not that difficult to do. So I'm pretty sure anyone could do this. If you guys have wallpaper you want to remove and you're a little overwhelmed by the idea of it, definitely just try it out because it's just a little half day task to do and I know you guys can do it as well. cleaning all the wallpaper off, I have to kind of sponge the wall clean, which I'm seeing now there's still some residue left over and a lot of streaks all over the wall. So I kind of have to like wipe them all down, sponge them all off. Now it's time to clean, get this room all tidied up. So hopefully we can start taping. So I'm just using these wet sponges to kind of exfoliate the walls. I'm scraping off whatever's left behind and just cleaning up the surfaces and that made a huge difference. It made them really smooth and look clean again. And then I'm also gonna be using this mop to wipe down the walls because they have streaks all over them from the wallpaper stripper leaking down the walls. So I'm just cleaning them all up so that they're ready to paint.
And of course, the last thing I have to do is just clean up the floor. There's so much paper left behind, so I'm just going with a garbage bag and picking up all these big pieces and just vacuuming it all up so it's nice and clean. And now I have to start taping out the trim around the doors, the baseboards, the windows, that kind of thing. So then that will be me done for the day after this is complete. And then we'll move on to tomorrow, which is like paint stuff. So I'm so excited about that. So yeah, there's so much work that goes into like getting ready to like do something really fun like this, but got to do this hard stuff to get there. So let's go ahead and get taping. The next day, it's day two of this phase one room prep, and today I need to pick a paint color. This is a must. We need to decide on something, and I actually want you guys to help me, so if you guys could comment below your suggestions, that would really help me, so we can kind of decide on this together. I will not paint the room until I see what all of you guys say. So as I mentioned before, the plan for this room is to turn it into what I would call a multi-purpose ladies lounge that's what i'm gonna call it this room is for my mom this is gonna be a space where she can use her laptop so there's gonna be a little workspace there's gonna be a little reading nook because she loves to read this room is also going to be a space that can be transformed into a guest space if we have grandkids over if we have family over this is going to be a really versatile space that someone can sleep they can read they can work they can hang out yeah and it's just gonna be nice vibes in here so when it comes to paint i really want to brighten the space up so i'm thinking like an off white in here i don't want to go too crisp white it's going to be a warm white so we're going to do three walls white so we have to pick a shade today they all look different it's insane and then the big design feature is actually going to be on this wall because this wall is kind of going to ground the two different spaces. We're gonna have prints on the wall. We're gonna do lighting. I want this wall to catch your attention. I want it to be bold. I want it to be beautiful. Just like totally gets the whole essence of the entire space. So I was thinking this darkest shade. Do you guys see that? It's called Tsunami. And I like it because it's that dark moody color, but it also has that teal kind of green and blue. And I think that would look really, really nice with white and beige and blush pink and our wood tones in our dressers so yeah this feels like a good color to me but again i've never painted a wall this dark before and i think it's awesome but i also think it's kind of scary which i think you guys could agree with let me know down below if you've ever done a really dark color if you guys saw my thrifting video i found these gorgeous velvet pillows and I love the color of them. That's why I picked up this pink color swatch so I could kind of like see what they would all look like together. These are gonna be in the reading nook. So I thought, you know, the colors have to kind of go with the pink. I don't want it to be vibrant. I don't want it to be bright. I want it to look sophisticated, elegant, bold, and just like really beautiful. So today I'm gonna to go to Home Depot and get paint samples for these two colors. This one is called Night Blooming Jasmine, so it's a warm white, it's not too stark. And this one again is Tsunami, so they're both by Bear. And yeah, we're just gonna pick up little samples that are this size. So yeah, I'm just gonna go grab these paint samples, I'll be back so we can swatch them together and decide together. Because if I'm on like the wrong track and you guys are like, no, don't do it, here's another idea, I would love to know. So you guys comment down below your thoughts and I'll go get some paint. I ended up picking up two different samples for this dark teal color. I ended up finding, I think this one is the new one. It's called Ocean Abbeys. And then this is the one we were looking at before, Tsunami. So see how they're really similar, but this one looks a little darker, which I'm kind of liking more right now, but we'll wait till we open it. And I also grabbed the white shade. This is the Night Blooming Jasmine. And these little sample containers, I think are just $4.95. I also grabbed, um three brushes i just kind of found the cheapest ones i could but they're a good size just to dip inside of the containers and put a big swatch on the wall so this is kind of all you'll need to test out paint colors So 
start with the ocean abbeys, I'm going to be painting these teal colors on this wall since this is our accent wall. And then I'll paint the white on this one so we can see them kind of right beside each other, see what the whole picture is going to look like. Oh, let's go ahead and dip this thing in. It looks so rich. looking a little different on camera like when I look with my actual eyes I see the teal in these but the camera is really showing navy um, the white is like really great I don't really see anything wrong with it it doesn't have some weird undertones so I think that looks bright and crisp right now I still can't really make up my mind I think I'm gonna bring my mom in here and see what she thinks but if you guys have a decision already let me know down below in the comments tsunami or ocean abbeys Ooh. Do you know well, I like them. Do you know which one's tsunami? This one. No. Are you serious? Yeah. This one's darker. That one's more vibrant. Maybe this one's just way too dark. I think it's just a bit dark. I just don't think it's as fresh looking. I yeah. Think it looks muddied. Okay, that's true. I'll paint it over there where like the, the window comes in so you can see it. My preference right now is that one. Okay. If you change my mind, that's, I could be changed. You know what I mean? But I think that that's gonna look good over there. And I just think that it's, like this was really dark when we first looked at it. I know. But and when you see it, like if that was any brighter or lighter, this would just look like a kid's room. Like it's not supposed to be like that. No. I think it's very elegant. Ooh. Now look at it from the window. Isn't that what we're trying to do? That seems to me to be the color. Yeah. So after letting all the colors dry, standing at different corners of the room, adjusting the lighting, I think we have come to the conclusion that we like Tsunami. This is the one that we picked initially. It has that real teal tone to it. It is dark when it dries, so that's what I'm excited about. I love that moodiness of it, but then it also has that true color. I think the Ocean Abbeys, when it dries, is going a little too dark and it's gonna look a little too crazy in here. Let me know down below what you guys think of this whole design plan, what you guys think of this accent wall. Do you agree with our decision of doing Tsunami? I hope you do. Um, we are getting started on this room makeover this week. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. If you guys have some crazy color in your bedroom, please let me know down below so I don't feel so alone with this mustard decision that I chose. I'm just so excited to get started on this next room makeover. I hope you guys are here for the future videos so you guys can see it all come together. And yeah, just want to inspire you guys and show you guys how easy it is to transform your space and I know you guys can do it too. So make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, click the red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned on so you never miss an upcoming video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!